Hi, I'm Ajit Khan. In this video, we are going to see certain Kubernetes questions that will surely come in CK exam. I'm CK certified and also AWS certified solution architect associate. If you are about to attempt the CK exam, I suggest you to watch my one of the previous videos that is about certification tips. So this is the very first video of the series that we are going to create. In this series, we are going to cover up all the possible questions that will come in the exam for sure. If you are able to attempt all these questions in the videos, then be assured that you will clear the exam for sure. So without waiting much, let's start solving the questions. So there will be scenarios and each scenarios will have certain weightage. So for example, here in this question, this is our question number one, and this has a weightage of 7% from the overall marks. If you do this particular question, then you will get 7% of the marks. Let's go through the scenario and start solving it. Question is create a new pod called web pod with image busy box and allow the pod to be able to set system time and the container should sleep for 3200 seconds. So this is what we need to do. We need to create a pod, give it a name web pod and it should use an image busy box and then the container should sleep for 3200 seconds. And one more thing that we need to do is we need to have the capability of system time. So let's see how we can do this. For this particular demo, I'm going to use killer coda. This is a playground that you can use. So they have scenarios and Kubernetes version available for particular exam. For example, here I am using CK playground. Here I can run all Kubernetes related commands and I can simply play around the Kubernetes cluster. All you need to do is go to killercoder.com and sign up using your email ID and then it's all free for you to play. So let's get started. One more thing you should do before solving the question is open the documentation and within documentation, you will find this particular kubectl cheat sheet. In one tab, keep this kubectl cheat sheet open and in another tab, you can search for rest of the things. This trick will be quite handy to save your time. So let us start solving the first scenario. All we need to do is we need to create a pod called web pod. Please note, we need to create a pod and not a deployment. If you were to create a deployment, then we will be running kubectl create command. The name of the pod should be web pod and we need to use the image busy box. So I'm going to use hyphen hyphen image equals to busy box. I have practice, which is I am able to write these commands. But as I said, always keep open this kubectl cheat sheet handy. Here you can just look for relevant command. For example, kubectl run. So here is the command. So you can just copy paste this and use it in the terminal. So this is how we can make use of Kubernetes cheat sheet. So this is the image that we need to use. And then we need to specify the command. And the command is sleep and 3200 seconds. Now we are not actually going to run this because we need to add the system time capability as well. So what we will do, we will make use of this imperative command and we will run this command and we will output in YML format using hyphen O YML and then save the content of YML in a particular file. So let's use the option dry run equals to client. So this option simply means when we hit enter, this is not going to actually run. Rather, this will just do a dry run. So dry run equals to client and then hyphen O equals to YML. That means we want the output in YML. Now I'm going to save the output in a file called busybox.yml and hit enter. Now a file must have been created. As you can see, busybox.yml has been created. So let's go ahead and edit this file. So this is the file. As you can see, it has generated all the YML content for you. And as you can see, it has also added sleep command. Now what we need to do is we need to add the system capability. For that, we are going to go to Kubernetes documentation and we will keep this Kubernetes cheat sheet open. And within the documentation, we need to search for system capabilities. So let us search for this, open the very first link. As you can see here, we can add security context. So that is what we need to add, but we need to add a capability. So I hope set time capability is there. Okay, here it is. So as you can see, this is the thing we need. So simply copy paste. We are adding a security context with capabilities. And here you can see there are two capabilities mentioned. One is net admin and another one is sysTime. So we are interested in sysTime. Let us go ahead and simply add this one. So we are just going to add it just below image name. And here we just need sysTime capability. I'm going to remove the remaining one. Okay, we are done. Let us save this. Now all we need to do is apply this. So kubectl apply hyphen f busybox.yml. Okay, it says pod created. Let us check. So as you can see, the web pod is running. Let us describe this. Okay, these are the details. As you can see, the pod is running. The name is web pod. 
image is busy box so we are done with the first question let us move on to the second one next question is create a new deployment called my project with image nginx 1.16 and then it should have one replica and upgrade the deployment to 1.17 version of nginx with rolling update and make sure that the version upgraded is recorded in the resource annotation so it simply means we need to create a deployment so we are going to use kubectl create command and the name of deployment should be my project and we should use image nginx with version 1.16 once we are done with that we need to upgrade it to 1.117 version and we need to record this update so that we can see the history so let us go ahead and solve this one okay so we need to create a deployment so run kubectl create deployment and the name of the deployment is my project and we need to specify image equals to nginx 1.16 and it says we need to have one replica so by default the number of replica is one so we don't need to specify the replicas explicitly but if you are to create more replicas then simply use the option hyphen hyphen replicas equals to the number of replicas you want so this is all we need to do as of now once this is created we are going to upgrade the version so let us go ahead and hit enter and create it and please note that i'm not writing the output to a file because we don't need to do anything extra as of now we need to run this first so we don't need to save this to a file so we are not going to waste any time in that hit enter and it says deployment created so let us see kubectl get deployment okay it says one of the deployment is ready and let us describe this kubectl describe deployment my project and as you can see it is using the image 1.16 now we need to upgrade it to 1.17 version for that let us go to kubectl cheat sheet here you will find a command called set image so as you can see this is the command kubectl set image deployment in the name of the deployment and the container name as you can see here what this command is doing it is rolling update www containers of front end deployment with this image so www is the name of the container in our case the name of the container is nginx let us cross check that so as you can see container is nginx so let us copy this command i'm going to clear this first and let us put the image name as nginx 1.17 that is the one we want and the name of the container here is nginx name of deployment is my project and at the end there was one more condition that we need to fulfill is we need to make sure the version upgrade is recorded in resource annotation for this all we need to do is use option hyphen hyphen record and just hit enter so this is the output we have got it says flag record has been deprecated and it will be removed in future version but as of now it has already updated the image so let us go ahead and check kubectl get deployment and let us describe this kubectl describe deployment my project as you can see the image has been updated it's now set to nginx 1.17 so this is upgraded and as you can see in the events it is scaling down replica from 0 to 1 so our image is upgraded now we want to see the history of the version that has been changed for that all you need to do is run the command kubectl rollout history deployment and name of deployment see with this output we can see there was a revision and that revision was we set the image to 1.117 and we recorded this so we can see the whole command here and if you are not sure about this command no problem at all just go and here you can see this is the same command that i have just run now so instead of front end we have used the name of our deployment so everything is there in the documentation just stick to it practice it so that it will be easy in the exam for you to find the relevant things in the documentation so this is it for this lecture hit like button and subscribe and in upcoming videos we are going to launch more questions so stick with the channel and practice it and i'm sure you will crack the exam thank you